going on everybody? It's been a minute. Today we are going to be fixing one of my biggest problems with the Bell 505. Honestly, I don't have many complaints at all about the 505, but I do have this one and let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. When you're sitting in the cockpit, I don't have anywhere to put small items. This is flat. You can't really put anything on there without them falling down. I don't like to keep things in here because this is where all the books go and you can't get anything down in there. On this side, I have this box, but you can't put anything on there. So things like your cell phone, lens caps, and whatever else, I have, I really don't have anywhere to put unless I just throw it in the back. I'm wearing a lav mic today. They got the fans on in the hangar, so it's pretty loud. But uh, for the last year, I have been kind of getting into 3D printing more functional items. So what I'm thinking is 3D printing a box that would sit on top of this. It could have little wings that would come down on both sides. And it's got these knobs that we could use to hold it in place. I'm thinking it would just clamp on and have little cutouts that would slide around these knobs. But that would give me at least a spot to put my phone and maybe like a lens cap and whatever else on top of here. Now I've got a caliber here, so I'm gonna pull a bunch of measurements and we'll take those measurements back to my computer and plug it into Fusion 360 and design it out. And in reality, once we get the, the mount figured out, we kinda of got a flat surface, we can put whatever we want on top of that um, as long as it clears the seat on the depth. It kind of has to come straight up and then out. I can't really move it inward, which is fine. But I'm going to get started on taking some measurements. Okay, got all our measurements. We got an idea for design. Now let's go to the computer and start building this thing. Now that I'm home in front of the computer, I took the pictures and measurements off my phone and quickly sketched it on paper and then started designing it here in Fusion 360. I'm not really worried about the top at the moment. That can be designed later. My priority is making sure that it mounts to the helicopter. So what we are looking at here is the base. My thoughts are that this will slide over the weight box and be locked in place by the rivets. Now let's get that design imported into these printer software. This is just a prototype and we're not gonna be using it. We'll just print this out of PLA, which is a pretty weak plastic. Once we get the final design, we'll print it out of something a little bit stronger. It's gonna take an hour and 13 minutes to print and let's send it to the printer. Got our print. The quality is terrible. I don't know what happened there, but it doesn't really matter for what we're going to be doing. We're just going to make sure it fits and then we'll work on the quality when it comes to the final product. That fit. It's on there. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the design as it is. I know that's a little sloppy, but what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll put a little foam uh, underneath here and that'll kind of tighten it up and suck up some of that clay. Because what I'm worried about is how it's spreading the plastic to fit in over these knobs. And I don't really want to tighten it up anymore because I feel like it's, it's going to crack. So I think we're going to stick with what we got. I've got my laptop fired up. I'm still sitting here at the airport but I've got about a 20 minute drive to the house and so I figured I would get a 20 minute head start on the print. All I've done is extend this top part and added this little divider. It's pretty simple, but I think it'll work perfectly for what I'm looking to do. All right, let's hit print. Got the printer, the right material, all this is good, send. It's been a couple days. I had to make some changes to the model. I wasn't getting the print quality that I was wanting when I would print it vertically like this, about the point that it turned into the top half, it would just fall apart in quality. So I split it in half, I printed just the top part on its own and then printed the bottom part on its own. I added some heat inset nuts into the bottom part in all four corners and then just screwed the top half to it. This turned out really well. I think it looks great. And now the other part about that is it's modular. I can unscrew this, print a new top, design whatever I want layout wise and screw it back in here. I'm excited about this. Let's go get it put in the helicopter. It has been about three weeks since I last saw you guys. And that's because it is just so hot that uh, frankly, I haven't wanted to be coming out here to the airport. But we got a little bit, a little bit of break in the weather today. It's only 102 degrees uh, versus the 115 it's been. So let's, let's see if this thing fits. I think I need both hands for this. Oh, please don't break on me here. Oh, yeah. That one ain't going anywhere. 
Oh yeah, that one is snug as a bug in a rug. Heck yeah. I don't know if maybe changing the material changed the tolerances on the, the sideways play, but all that's gone. But we're gonna test it out. Zoe and I are headed to Parker for the weekend. We're gonna bring you guys along for the flight. I can't uh, post a video without having a little bit of flying in there. You guys would never watch another video. So let's uh, let's get to that because it's hot and I'm ready to get out of here. Pocket Tower, helicopter 505, Echo X-ray, hello, pilots, let's go northbound with Papa. Helicopter 505, Echo X-ray, Falcon Tower, you're uh, climbing left turn, crossing midfield 1,900 is approved, and then on course approved. Departure turn, rescue's caution, Falcon altimeter 2978. Climbing left turn 1,900, uh, cross midfield, and then on course approved, 5 X-ray. Custom Tower, helicopter 505, Echo X-ray, 6 to the southeast, flight transition northwest bound, with information Lima. Echo 505, Echo X-ray, Custom Tower, maintain out of below 2,000, two transition approved, up to number 291. Maintain out of below 2,000, uh, 505, Echo X-ray, transition approved. Echo 505, Echo X-ray, do you need to cross uh, the runway or final? Uh, we'd like to cross, across, sorry, we'd like to cross the uh, Final, 5 x three. 5 x three. roger. Resume my navigation. There's Bear Jackson. Yes. Without any Bear Jackson. Yeah, without anything going on. Remember landing kind of right up against that building. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It's pretty cool. Helicopter was on display at Bear Jackson, which is a giant car auction. A bunch of really nice cars and everything. Um, it was there for, the show's about a week. But the helicopter was one of the first things that went in, and then they set the entire show up around it. And then it was one of the last things to come out after they tore the show down around it. So it was pretty cool. I went up one day, and there was someone like teetering on the tail rotor, and I'm like, ah, all right, I gotta leave. I can't be here for this. <laughs> I got five Echo X ray, free change approved. We'll see ya. Free change, change approved. We'll see you on the way back. Five X ray. I know. I cannot talk today. Well, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with my new, my little snack tray. This thing fits perfectly. Got my phone, my lens cap, my truck keys, and my snacks. All nice and stored in here. Otherwise, that stuff would just be I need one. spilling around over here. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to make one for you over there, though. I want to make one for here. That can be mine. The bigger one? Yeah. A lot more snacks? Yeah. Parker traffic, helicopter 5, Echo X-ray, half mile to the north, landing on the ramp, Parker traffic. 20. We made it to Parker, it is hot. We're gonna get out of the scene, get all our stuff unloaded. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you uh, enjoyed the 3D print. I've got a couple other ideas, so let me know if you like that. Hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.